Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and this is kind of a, a public service announcement. Um, you know, uh, it's watching some of my past videos. Uh, I do like to use the correct terminology for different things. I think it makes you sound more professional and uh, it um, eliminates confusion. Um, and I've had a story about when I worked at a sporty goods store, someone asking for a P38 and uh, I told him I didn't we didn't carry P-38s. He says, yes, you do. And he pointed at a Fred. And, um, you know, if he would have asked simply for a can opener, I would have said, hey, we have a can opener. But he was asking for a very specific thing by using the terminology that he used. So, um, this is along the same uh, uh, concept. I'm going to talk about the difference between a swedge and a false edge. And, um, Really, what this comes down to is that all double-edged knives, like this one, has both a false edge and a true edge. Um, this terminology kind of comes from uh, HEMA, or um, um, not really, well, swords, basically. Um, sword fencing and um, a little bit of knife fencing. Uh, pretend this is a, a, a medieval sword. He got like a arming sword or a, um, a long sword, whatever you want to pretend that it is, it has two edges. The edge that faces front of you, you know, faces that way down if you hold it level, uh, that is the true edge or the primary edge. And this is what you do most of your cutting with. Now, um, like I said, uh, double edge blades have a second edge. And that edge, if you're holding the um, uh, blade horizontal, is facing up. And that's called the false edge. So you have your true edge and you have your false edge. Your primary edge, your secondary edge. Sometimes, and I'll explain this uh, a little bit later, it's called a long edge and a short edge. Uh, when it gets to uh, single edge knives or swords. Yes, you heard me right. Single edge uh, blades can have more than one edge. So, this is my example of a double-edged knife. This, you may recognize as to be a Ontario Gambler uh, Bagwell Design buoy, And, um, some people refer to this as a back cut. This is a false edge. It's not a very sharp false edge, but it is a false edge. The grinds actually do meet, and you do have the ability to cut meat, cut water bottles, and use this um, as a secondary edge to perform the back cut, any kind of uh, uh, wrist rotations or flicks, also aids in penetration. Um, this is a single edge knife, as far as everybody's concerned. Um, you know, it's described as a single edge knife, just like how a messel or a lang messel is a single edge sword, but a lot of them have. <coughs> excuse me, a clip. Messels are kind of like big buoy knives but for the medieval time period and they have a clip that's sharpened and this is where you get your long edge and your short edge um, and that's kind of the origin of that terminology. So you got your um, primary edge, secondary edge, you have your true edge, your false edge, you have your long edge, your short edge. All pretty much saying the same exact thing and um, that is the false edge. So what is a swedge? Um, you know, um, I used to have a Randall made knife which would have been amazing to have in this video but unfortunately I don't have it anymore because I sold it. Kinda miss it, kinda don't. Um, this is a blackjack number uh, one seven. It is a copy of a Randall knife except the grind is different and um, the top is different. This is a swedge. The grind does not really come together. It's not sharp. I can rub my uh, thumb on it as hard as I can and it's not going to cut. This has no cutting capability on this top clip. So this is a swedge. A swedge is an unsharpened gr a ground um, portion of the uh, top of the blade. It's ground but it doesn't actually have a, uh, a edge on it. So it's a swedge. And uh, that's one of the big differences between a Randall-made knife and a blackjack. The blackjack has a convex uh, grind, 
and it has no false edge, it has a swedge. And uh, just in case you think I might be making this stuff up about single edge knives having um, uh, dual edges, um, I want to show you the Spiral Co. 2015 product catalog. Spiral Co. usually does a good job of educating the um, consumer about knife terminology, steel elements, um, steel terms, uh, the different blade shapes, um, edge uh, grinds, and this is uh, blade grinds. And this is coming from Spiral Co. Up here you'll see false edge. Uh, it says a sharpened secondary edge on the spine of the blade near the point, if unsharpened, called a swedge. And if you look down here at the swedge, it says an unsharpened bevel on the spine of the blade near the point. If sharpened, it would be considered a false edge. A swedge reduces blade weight, and enhances balance, and um, improves penetration. Although a false edge improves uh, penetration as well. So. I would be the first to admit that I used to use the terminology interchangeably, and I was wrong. Um, a false edge is not a swedge, and a swedge is not a false edge. Um, and I see this terminology being used interchangeably from a lot of different channels. It's, um, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. Um, uh, you know, most people don't care. Um, but to me, I'm trying to sound professional. I'm trying to sound. I'm trying to accurately describe what I'm reviewing. So, um, taking these two knives, if I want to describe the grinds on the top edges and do it accurately, I will call this a swedge and this a false edge. And that way, when the people watching my video know uh, that I'm when I'm talking about knives, they know that this is unsharpened and this is um, when I'm using that proper terminology. Um, so uh, that's pretty much the video. Just two main points. One, um, there is a difference between a swedge and a false edge and um, both all double edge knives have a false edge or swords in that metal. This, these terminologies come from swords and knives um, from a long time ago. Um, but all double-edged uh, blades have false edges and you can flip them and um, use whichever, you know, they're pretty symmetrical so you can use it either way. Use your primary edge or you can flip it and, and then your primary edge becomes your secondary edge. So that's kind of cool. But single-edged blades can have false edges which means single edge blades can have a secondary or uh, a second edge. And I think that's really interesting. Uh, makes things a little bit confusing when it comes to the law. Um, I think it depends on the police officer that you're talking to. I've had a police officer say, uh, well, if it's just a small portion of the blade that's um, sharpened, you know, I, I don't consider that a double edge. They say, they told me that if as long as it doesn't go all the way down the blade that they're okay with that. But then again I can go to a completely different police officer and they can say something completely different. So just be careful. Uh, if you use your knife make sure you, that you're legitimately using it and not trying to uh, threaten or assault anybody. And um, be really nice to police officers. They might cut you a break if you're accidentally doing something illegal. But that's it. I just wanted to say um, that there is a difference between a swedge and a false edge. Um, one is sharp and one isn't. That's it. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.